what the word elite sports has offered me is work ethic, discipline. You cannot achieve excellence without that discipline. I'm Kevin Huang, Chief Operating Officer of the South China Morning Post. Today, I'm meeting with Hanan Sabri, the Head of Racing Marketing at the Hong Kong Jockey Club. We will discuss her remarkable achievements in turning the race course into a lifestyle destination, the world of elite sports, and what we can anticipate for 2024. Hanan, welcome to the South China Morning Post. So Hanan, uh, we all know that you are a professional athlete uh, and you've made that transition into finance and obviously you're now doing marketing at the club. Uh, please tell us what you, know, you have learned in your career as a professional athlete that has helped you in your role today. Well, thank you. Yeah, that's true. I was a runner, a professional runner, and uh, I was uh, several times national champion. And uh, what the word elite sports uh, has given me and has offered me is really, uh, it, it has taught me work ethic, definitely, discipline. I mean, there is no athlete who is not disciplined. You cannot achieve excellence and performance without that discipline. Um, resilience, mm. you know, you, you don't win each time and yeah. uh, you got to be resilient and uh, definitely goal setting. How do we build ambitious uh, objective, but at the same time realistic and uh, all these lessons helped me today on who I am as a, as a leader, but also as a person in my personal and in my professional life. The word elite sports uh, have made me uh, who I am today with these values and uh, hopefully a better leader for my teammates. Uh, I agree. As they always say, right, there is no I in the word team. And teamwork always makes the dream work. At the beginning of the year, on your personal LinkedIn, you discussed your mission to transform the race course into a lifestyle destination and the importance of working with purposeful partners. There's been no doubt that it's been a very busy year for you and for the club, and I would say a transformative year. What do you think are the factors that contributed to your success, and what are you planning more of in 2024? First, I would definitely say that the human factor. In 2023, we really focused on a building that emotional connection with our audience by sharing authentic and true stories. True stories about our owners, our horses, our trainers who are very strategists, but also our jockeys. The second factor is the marketing efforts. We played a really a, a crucial role in promoting horse racing as a professional and lifestyle sport and our race course as a lifestyle destination. Our exceptional racing marketing team played a significant role. They fully embraced our new vision, understood their mission and the objective and they really worked hard uh, towards making them a reality. The third factor is definitely how we capitalize into our 88 live sports events. And we used this sports event as occasions and opportunities to share with uh, our consumers, with our racing fans, the thrilling experience of uh, world-class uh, racing events, but also the entertainment programming, the music event, the culinary experience. And we even had it, that piece of uh, educational, we call that horse racing 101, yeah. that allows also our consumers to know about horse racing and understand what's happening in the race course. Lastly, we really made sure also on forging purposeful partnership with like-minded organization, uh, which enhanced uh, our race course experience and definitely expanded our reach. Looking ahead um, for 2024, we plan to be consistent and keep on building uh, on our success and our, uh, on this new vision, which involve exploring innovative digital strategies and uh, we aim to enhance our race course uh, experience 
through new music events, mm -hmm. new collaboration with celebrities, influencers, um, embracing uh, 360 activation. Hanan, for marketers that are looking to emulate the success that you've had and the club has had in 2024, uh, what would you tell them? I would definitely emphasize the importance of defining a clear vision, a clear purpose, and then cascading into a mission and objective. It's really important to define, based on this vision, the unique value proposition, mm -hmm. the USP, as mm -hmm. we say, and communicate them in all the touch points facing consumer. Mm -hmm. The second uh, um, advice I would give is all about the authenticity and the meaningful connection that we are creating with a target audience. Mm -hmm. And this is all about building a long lasting relationship by focusing our energy to be a consumer centric approach. The third advice I would give is always align our marketing strategies with the organization business objectives. Mm -hmm. And to do so, it's really important to be data analytic driven. Mm -hmm. As you know, Kevin, I come from finance. Uh, that's my uh, background and uh, where I did my studies. And really having analytics capabilities, understanding the data, this is really crucial in order to propel a data driven decision making and also in optimizing our brand marketing campaigns. This is really important to monitor that campaign and to set up KPIs mm. to evaluate your campaign and your marketing efforts and keep tracking them in order to see if it does have an impact in the perception of this new vision and the brand that you we're trying to set up. Uh, I certainly agree. I think marketing has uh, become an art and a science and it's uh, not just one, it's a combination of both. Uh, Hanan, how would you describe 2023 in one word? And also, what is your one word prediction for 2024? Well, for 2023, I think that the word that best summarizes the year is adaptability. We had to adapt uh, our marketing strategies and operation to uh, the rapidly changing circumstances, but also we needed to keep ensuring the continuity and growth of our racing events. For 2024, I would probably put everything under this unique word, which is innovative. How do we become innovative into our entertainment programming, giving a, a platform for our local but also international uh, singers? Why not also getting new culinary experiences? Mm. That's all aspects of being innovative, but also keep on delivering uh, word class excellence in our racing events. Great, so innovation is what we're expecting more from the club in 2024. And I look forward to seeing you on Wednesdays in Happy Valley for a happy Wednesday, uh, and obviously Sundays in Chatin. Thank you so much, Hanan, for joining us today. Thank you, Kevin, it was a pleasure. Thank you. Mm -hmm.